everyone, welcome back to another video. Now I have some family members coming over soon for a big celebration, so I'm gonna spruce the place up. Yep, get it looking good for them, so just gonna get started. Now you may remember this area here, it's just been newly created. Sam's planted it all up. We've still got a little bit more to do on here, but you definitely get the idea now. So yeah. shortly I'll reveal what's going on behind the sheep. Did you notice that the cats have got a new playhouse inside their catio? Yeah, Sam picked it up with Vidgrenier. It's only about 10 euros, so yeah, it just gives them a bit of security in there. So they don't stay out here all night or anything. They only come out with us several hours, you know, when we're doing gardening and stuff like that. Obviously, when I'm streaming, they can't be in here. So yeah, we will bring them out a little bit later. But yeah, they absolutely love it. Now, a handy tip when you're streaming, this part here, you keep that touching the tree at all times and just work your way around like so. You won't damage the bark and harm the tree. So yeah, if you've got a special tree, just like this beautiful tree here. Now I dare say lots of you like myself have been given things from people that are no longer with us and they mean a lot to us. So this is one of them. So I just want to be extra careful when I cut. I'm always on that side of the tree so we don't damage the bark on the trunk. Now I'll probably just pull that out by hand but that's the general idea when you're using a strimmer around trees. It'll be lovely to make some quince jelly this year. Hopefully it'll bear fruit. It's a young tree but it really has grown marvellous in the last two years so yeah we're looking forward to that. Now equally important to me is a lovely little patch of bluebells. Now these bluebells were given to me by my granddad. His granddad given to him when he first moved into his first house. So yeah, sadly my granddad and then have passed away. And yeah, I really do cherish these bluebells every year they come up. Now these are native English and French bluebells. Slightly different to the Spanish ones, which is an invasive species, I understand. Look how beautiful they are. So I like to make a, a series of little pathways meandering through. There's a little wildlife or garden there. But just here are those beautiful bluebells. Well, these ones have come out a different colour. They're the original ones. Also got a variant colour. That's unusual. Quite know how that come about. Little stones that I made have really 
come along. Yeah, it's starting to really weather in. Look at that. Beautiful. Got one there, one there, and one there. I think we'll work up here today. Got a few jobs to be getting on with, as usual. I've yeah, got that area there to finish. Tom helped me here, as you see in a previous video. He done a marvellous job. Yeah, he's coming along great with his skills. At first glance, I was going to remove this little window. And then Tom said, well, "Why don't you keep it?" You know. And the more I look at it, I think, well, yeah, it's part of its history and its character. There's nothing actually wrong with it. Yeah, it's single glaze, but hey, you know, it's not a major problem. It will just give a bit of extra light. And I've got the, the new one to the left of it. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one in. Yeah, we'll just have to repair that. Bang that back over. Get a fixing in the timber there. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go right across with the insulation at first, and then we'll cut the opening in. And I'm sure that I want to keep that little window. Set. Okay, that's nicely secured both sides now. Now lots of people have said in the comments, if you have a spiral staircase, how are you going to get stuff up here? Well, I plan to keep a trap door, if not this one, another one very similar. I can just bring the floor down, anything that needs to come up, just open the trap door. So what I may do is just replicate that back here, because as you come up the stairs, you come up into this. It's probably hard to get an idea of the, the layout from just a simple video so yeah so you can see where you come up so basically I just need to move this section back without encroaching on what would be or will be the bathroom area so yeah I can get round it so I'm going to tackle that once I come closer to the time but yeah if I do go for the spiral staircase I will have a trap door as well Whenever I have to roll out anything like this and measure it, anything over two meters, I'll put a mark there at the two meter marks. So when I unroll it, I know where to measure from next time. Once again, great product for this application. As previously mentioned, there will be another layer of insulation on the inside. This is kind of like a, an outside inside first barrier protection for moisture and heat, sun, and all of the elements. So, yeah, you must maintain, well, fit it with the manufacturer's instructions basically. You have to allow um, a space either side for the uh, reflectivity, as not as you say this time of day, to work properly. So, ideally, a two person job. But it can be done on your own, it's not particularly heavy, just a little bit fiddly. 
nice and clean, no mask needed. I like the system. There you go, that way you can pull it from right to left, keep it nice and tall, get it lined up. Perfect. Make sure, because the purlins and the beams are all out of square, so just how old buildings are. Temporary tack it. Just pull the excess through to the other side. Okay, the rest will be done with battens. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's really transformed that area. Ties it in with that side. Makes it a lot less drafty as well. And when we do eventually get a summer, it will stop the heat penetrating in here, you know. So it really does get hot in these places. I know some of you are interested in old things, antique, vintage. So today, I've been out filming for Sean's Universe channel where I keep my, mainly the Brocan and the sort of chateau visits, travel, stuff that isn't generally here. Uh, there is a few exceptions to the rule to that. So let me show you what I've got today. So I was quite a busy boy today. Spring's here and there's lots of vid greniers on which are outdoor yard sales, two dairy bowls, a crusade oven dish, lovely cheese cutting like for a big round cheese. That's a nice one of those. Now all these items will be available in either my Etsy store or welcome to Sean'sWorld.com. That's a fantastic piece, isn't it? Little cherubs. Can't really see too well because there's a reflection of the sun, but yeah. So that was the first little hole at the first boot sale. Went to two in the end. Now the second big grenier, boot sale, yard sale, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, loads of stuff. These are real fantastic quality working items. I think they're tailor's scissors. We've got a, a gallet paddle, we've got a, a waffle iron there, lots of other hand tools. That was a real interesting find that was. That's for eels. Now these, never seen these before, but the quality was amazing. They're stamped up, I've got to do some research on those. I think they are leather working tools. I'm not sure, it's what the gentleman told me. He seemed to know his stuff. We've got another cleaver there, butcher's cleaver, and there another fantastic piece. Okay right, let's get knocking up some lime. Mm. Ah. 
that's a worry. That's looks like that's gone off. My lime has gone hard. I did seal the bag, but sometimes moisture just gets in there. Ah, I really wanted to get that done today. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to draw a line there on the day's video. And join me next time, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.